Show me how hot it is. I'm looking where I'm aware of hot things. Hot things in terms of the source of heat derived from within the earth. So, in context of the make of current status, the make of control as being like a non volcanic. What, what it is that we are beginning to recognize is that there is much work that is not done in terms of fully having a subsurface picture beneath the surface of Jamaica. And with this being said, if we are going to see the manifestation of hot springs in different sections of the country, it begs the question, why is it that we are not doing this kind of work to develop this area of knowledge? Whilst the bath is specifically known for its tourism and its attractions, it basically has to be that we understand better because what it is that I have come across in terms of my research is that there is potential for an energy source that is provided by past volcanism at the least. So Wishart in his 2013 paper studying the Bath Geothermal Reservoir would have conducted some geothermometers or used geothermometers to test the heat. And what this person found is that there is, exists a range of 83 to 102 degrees Celsius of temperature that is found deep within the Bath region, underground that is. What this person basically would have also found is that there exists surface discharge temperatures that is not as high, but this indicates that there is shallow mixing. Now, in terms of the depth to circulation of mixing, he or she estimates that being 1 to 1.8 kilometers. And this basically is much more shallow relative to other sources of warm slash hot springs, such as the Milk River and the Windsor seepage. Now, according to this author, the assumption is that the source of the hot spring or the source of the geothermal energy is as a result of remnant seawater via hydrothermal sources when Jamaica's volcanism was in its early stages. So it indicates, or how I interpret it is that there basically is a degree of trapping of this heated water for millions of years. And basically now, with the presence of the planting garden fault system, what it is now that has taken place is that this fault line or fault zone has resulted in cracks and hence you basically have upwelling of this trapped heat. So in so doing, this is where now, specifically the bath area, has experienced or is experiencing hot springs. This author had indicated or has indicated in his or her paper, however, that, you know, it may be that this is not a geothermal source attributed to volcanism. Yet still, there, were another, there was another section that he, he mentioned the potential of shallow magmatic intrusions. In other words, how I interpret it is that this is inconclusive and the author did indicate that much more research needs to be done. What I want to do at this, this stage is just to apply my own understanding of what it is that more than likely is the reality as we can see. So if I'm going to use the data provided by this author, what it is that I'm ruling out is the likelihood of radioactive decay as the source of heat energy. You know, I'm not seeing where mention was made of, an example, uranium. And in so doing, it basically is just limiting the source of heat 
to a trapped heat source, trapped salt water underneath a section of the earth for millions of years. So my question has to be, how is it that the temperature of this salt water managed to maintain a range of near boiling without still being fed a heat source. Keep this in mind as well, that it's not like the planting garden fault zone is a baby to the extent that it just occurred a hundred years ago, as an example. You have to keep in mind that this fault system has been active before mine and your time, basically for hundreds of years, thousands of years, potentially even millions of years. So in essence, the action of the fault system through its active nature resulting in movement means therefore that there is going to be cracks and you know increased percolation and mixing. This has been the case for thousands of years to millions of years potentially. In other words, if this is the case, how is it that the temperature has not dropped from where it is currently or what it is that this author would have indicated he, she would have measured back in 2013? How, how is it that the heat managed to still be the same, right? Because if there is infiltration of surface water with that deeper heated water, and you have mixing, it should have been cooled down for many years ago. In other words, what I'm going to say is that there has to be an active source of heat still there. So even though it is basically being expressed that there does not exist an active tectonic or volcanic zone underneath Jamaica, it has to be said that this statement is inconclusive given the fact that not an extensive geophysical analysis underneath Jamaica and within Jamaica's waters per se, specifically close to the boundary of the North American Caribbean plate, etc., has been done. So I am of the view that the theory of upwelling of the mantle uh, or in other words, rising of the mantle, specifically as a result of the fact that there is a degree of pressure that's being released through the effects of the planting gun fault system, as an example. That is more than likely a source, constant source of heat that is resulting in the bath region manifesting itself with its hot springs. This is where I'm going to leave it. Let me know what your views are.